Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Terror. Today we're doing a reading for Scorpio. Today Scorpio is all about you, it's all about Scorpios today. Alright, now before we get started, remember to like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. Alright, now we can hop into it. Remember this is a Scorpio reading. Now if, now another thing, please note. If this does not resonate with you, please don't get offended or in your feelings. It just maybe wasn't specifically for you. Just for anyone who's a Scorpio and, it feel, and, it, and they feel like it resonates with them. Okay? Okay. Of course, we're going to draw five cards, as always. Okay. Now... Scorpio, our first card says the Three of Cups. Okay? So I see for you guys that you guys are going through a celebration, okay? One of your friends have gotten engaged. One of your friends have gotten engaged, y'all. And you guys are just celebrating. You guys, you guys have come together to enjoy the celebration. You know, maybe it's a bachelorette party or a bachelor party, you know? And you guys are just enjoying the celebration, congratulating your friends on their um, engagement. You know, congratulations, congratulations. Okay. Now, you guys got the Empress in reverse, okay? Now, you, you kind of feel some kind of way. You kind of, like, as, as happy as you are for your friend, you feel kind of alone. Like you feel, it's like you feel funny because you and your friend are around the same age and they're getting married, um, they're getting married and you feel like you don't really have anyone. Like you feel like, like romantically alone. Like you feel like you have no one in a romantic sense, right? You don't, you feel a kind of unbalanced, you feel uneasy. So you kind of just like, I wonder where my romantic life is. You know, it's kind of just like, duh, 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 duh. you know, it's kind of, kind of just bland and nothing's going on, you know? The King of Wands in the reverse, okay? So this now, these kinds of thoughts have actually broken down your confidence, Scorpio. Okay, these, these thoughts like these, how like, you know, where's your happily ever after? You know, where's your wedding ring? Thoughts like these have actually broken down your self-esteem. Not maybe, maybe not all the way, but, you know, it's taken a nice little chunk out of your self-confidence and self-respect, okay? the tower in reverse okay so there's no change going on in your life there's no change no sudden change that you would like to happen you know maybe you were talking to this one person but they ghosted you and don't even really text you like you always have to text them first to get a response out of them and then they either and then they leave you on red and it's just a mess like you text them like you always have to be the first to text them and then it takes you for a little bit while but their text but their text messages are so dry Right, they're so dry. You ever been? You ever texted a dry texting person? It's like it's such a dry text, okay? And then when you talk to them about why their response is so dry, they're just like, "Oh, I'm a lazy texter. I don't really text that often." Da 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 da. Right? But what does that got to do with leaving you on red? Like that's not fair. And like so, if like, then it's kind of just like, why? Why do you do this? All right, the sun in reverse. Okay. So, Scorpio, you are not happy. You're not happy right now. You not happy, okay? You're happy for your friend that they're getting engaged, but you yourself are not happy because you don't got anyone. You don't even have someone that you're really talking to that's also being persistent in communicating with you. So you're not even, you're not really happy right now. You're not, okay? Now, Scorpio, we're gonna draw five cards, okay? I'm gonna draw five more cards. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Our next card says Scorpio, the Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so Scorpio, you've rested. Okay, you have rested. 
And by what and what that means is that you have been sleeping a lot more than usual. You haven't really been leaving your house like that, okay? So that basically you haven't really been socializing like that, okay? You know, because if you've been a little depressed for the past couple of days, couple of maybe like a week and some change, right? So you don't really, you're not really in the mood to socialize, not even hang out with your friends right now anyway, you know, because what's the point, you know? Every time you see them, you see you, the first thing you notice is that ring on their finger, right? So it's just a mess, okay? So you feel like you don't even want to be bothered with people right now. You just want to be left alone in your house, okay? The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Okay. So you've been cutting loose ends, Scorpio. You know, you've been cutting loose ends. Maybe you've been like you've been getting rid of some negative people in your life. If you had any negative people in your life, you're cutting them off, okay? You're trying to cut off these negative thoughts that you're having. You're cutting that off too. You're trying to you're trying to snap like you're kind of trying to snap yourself out of it, right? You're trying to get these negative thoughts out of your head. You're not you don't usually think like this, okay? So you're trying to, you're cutting loose ends, okay? You're trying to cut those loose ends on your mental state, okay? You're trying to snap yourself out of it and just get out there, okay? All right, death, all right? In reverse, okay? Now, you're trying to snap out of it. You're trying to get your mind off of things. But deep down, you know your love life is still in a standstill, Okay? All right, you you feel like your love life is in a standstill. Okay, your whole life is in a standstill. That's how you feel somewhere deep, deep down. Okay, so you kind of feel a little dead inside, like you feel like you're dead inside and you're going nowhere. The King of Cups. Okay. Okay. Now you, Scorpio, are a mature person. Okay, you're very stable. It's not like you have like you, you know you're a very stable person. You know. You know, you're very financially stable. You're not rich, but you're at least you're not but you're not flat broke broke. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're not you're not a kind of person to really do self harm or anything like that. You know, you're a very you are like you're like you're like you're like the average girl or average boy next door. You know? Okay. So you're kinda of confused why your love life is dead. Why your love life is not going anywhere. Like, it's not like you want to get married at the same time around your friends, but you still would like to have someone to talk to in a romantic sense. The Ace of Swords. Okay. Okay. So, you have actually decided to, to, you have actually decided to be open about how you feel. You've actually decided to communicate and take, take action. So... You've been communicating to your friends about it. You've been talking to your friends about how you feel, what you've been feeling, and why you kind of disappeared off the face of the earth for the, for the past couple of days. You know, you're taking action because you know if you don't take action and talk to someone, you know, your mental is not going to do very good. Neither is your emotional state. Okay? So you decided to open up your, about your friends about how you feel about the situation. Okay? Now, Scorpio, we're going to draw our last five cards. Okay? Okay, the three of wands, all right? A long distant relationship is what I see, y'all. Okay, a long distance relationship is what I see, okay? So, maybe you've been on social media or a dating app, right? Maybe maybe it's one of those two, and you finally found someone that you really have, like, some stuff in common with. You know, you guys talk, you guys click, you know, you guys get along, Right? The only problem is that they maybe live hours and hours away from you. Maybe they live on the other side of the state from you. Or maybe they live in a totally different state, like a totally different state, maybe like next, in the next state over. Or they could live a couple states away or a whole different country, right? Whatever the case may be, it's definitely a long distance relationship that will require a lot of planning if you guys ever did decide to meet in person, okay? but. You know, you really do like this person and you feel like, you know, despite the long distance, you guys really have on a connection. Okay. 
the I can never pronounce it. I can never pronounce it. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. I hope I said that right. The Hierophant in the reverse. I can never, I never know how to pronounce it. I'm going to say Hierophant. Okay. Okay. Now, as much as you like this person, as long as, as much as you like this person and stuff like that, there's no real trust that's been built between the two of you. Right. You guys like each other. Yes. But there's no trust that's been built like this person could be a catfish for all you know because you guys maybe probably haven't even did like a voice call like maybe a voice call but not a video call like see them like see their face and hear their voice at the same time while they're moving their mouth right like this could like you be talking like if like you'd be talking to this hot girl or this hot guy right and plot twist they turn out to be this middle-aged blob and it's just like oof okay right so there's no trust that's been built between the two of you yet okay the hanged man in the reverse okay okay so someone is watching you actually someone you know is watching you someone's actually like what like maybe it, as far as someone is watching you is concerned it could probably be your ex right it could probably be your ex who's watching you maybe they're jealous of how happy you are in this long distance relationship how like how 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 you're constantly smiling at your phone and texting you know maybe they're jealous like what's 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 going on that's making you smile so hard okay but they can't ask you that of course right or maybe your friends are just like hey you know i'm glad you're finding someone to talk to but be careful you know because da, 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 you know it's not even like you guys video called or anything like that so yeah they're watching you and just kind of just being like hey be careful and da 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 da. Okay. The devil in reverse. Oh boy. Okay. So, regardless of all the warnings people are trying to get you to see, you haven't really learned anything. Like, you haven't, like, they're just like, you should try to get them to video call you or video chat you or FaceTime you, whatever the case is you haven't really asked them to do that okay because you like what you have right here right whether it's real or fake you still like what you have okay but scorpio i really prefer that you did video chat them if this is a long distance relationship going on you know and you really do like this person they should at least give you the satisfaction of video chatting you okay you don't know if this is like a 50 year old man with a beard and he's like has this creep fetish about catfishing people i don't know I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, please be careful. Okay. So yeah, you're kind of res resistant to asking them that because you don't want them to just like be like, why? Or da 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 da. Or what do you want to see my face for? And, it, or, and then all of a sudden they block you the next day. It's like you don't. So you like what you have right here. Okay. And our last card says the Six of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Scorpio. Bad news. The relationship ended. Okay? The relationship did end. It. The relationship did end. Okay? The relationship ended. And maybe you did ask for a picture or a video of themselves. Or maybe you asked to video chat and they kept making excuses. And then eventually they just blocked you or... You know, just ignored you, okay? Or maybe, they, or maybe they made up the excuse that they're relocating, or they broke their, or, or, and not gonna be able to use their phone, and whatever the case is. Regardless of what, you know what? what regardless of what the excuse is, or what they did, the relationship is obviously over, okay? Of course, you're sad, Scorpio. You know, we're only human. We're gonna feel sad about things we're bummed about, you know. But, Scorpio, as far as love is concerned. Nothing's concrete. You just gotta, like, you just gotta wait for karmic energy to just give you the right person, okay? All right, because yes, you can look and search high and low all you want, but at the end of the day, you just got, you don't, like, I understand you want a relationship, but you have to build trust and some kind of foundation before you can ever get to that relationship part with someone, okay? So you always remember that, Scorpio. 
So Scorpio, I hope this reading did resonate with you and share some, put some enlightenment on your situation. Okay. But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully the next Scorpio video will. But in the meantime, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload from when I upload. This has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste. Thank you.